Now, as we go toward the spring season now, we're following their calendar. We find that the spring solstice season comes about. Now, this is another very powerful season. In this time, the darkness and the cold are leaving. And now the spring is coming. Light has returned. It is the resurrection of life after death. And so with the light and the water and the rain, life then becomes, and, and those trees and plants. In, in Canada, we lose all of our trees and plants in the winter. You probably don't uh, down here in this region. But up in the north, all the trees are, uh, lose their leaves except for the evergreen. And so in that spring season, the spring solstice, in the northern countries, a fertility celebration came about. And the main figure in that fertility celebration was their goddess Ostre, or Ostern. And according to them, she waved her wand, and life came back after death. And so the symbols of that occasion became rabbits, bunny rabbits, chickens, eggs. You take two rabbits and put them in the backyard, and after a couple of days, there's rabbits jumping around everywhere in the back. It's a fertility symbol. And so therefore, this became the symbol. Now, the compromise. The Christians coming in now who want to get benefit from the nature-worshipping people, they use that saying, if you can't beat them, join them. So they came along and they joined them. And so now you find Easter. Look at it. This is supposed to be the time of the death and resurrection of Isa alayhi salam. But it is the pagan rite of the resurrection of, de of, of life after death. And so they imp impose this occasion onto the spring season. And you find then both of these celebrations going, coming about at one time. The reality is, and the, the Muslims understand from the, the revelation of the Quran, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَ لَهُمْ They did not kill him, and they did not crucify him, Jesus. But it was made to appear to them that they did. And so they carried out the celebration. What happens now? is that people are involved in a series of rituals around an occasion which never actually came about. People are in shock sometimes. If you go ask the, 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 the regular American or Christian person, what does Easter mean? And they say, well, Easter is the time of, of, of the resurrection of Jesus, resurrection from the dead. They don't realize where it actually comes from. The reality is it is a pagan rite. And it is based upon that concept of looking at the sun as the main uh, aspect of life because the sun, again, plays a powerful role during that season. In Europe also, uh, during that week, you had Palm Sunday, Ash Wednesday, Good Thursday, Good Friday. There's a number of occasions. You can look them up and find them. On Good Thursday, you find many of the people, what they did is in the north, they wouldn't bathe all winter. And so when the spring came, they said, now you've got to take a bath. So you take a bath, they literally would go into the stream and take a bath, peel off their clothes, and then put on new clothes for Easter Sunday. And so many people you now see wearing their Easter bonnet and wearing their Easter suit and putting on their new clothes, but it is actually a cultural tradition based upon people coming from a terrible cold season where they were even afraid to take a bath because of pneumonia and other, other uh, sicknesses that would hit people who did not have central heating. And so it flows, it continues to flow, and we begin to understand now that there are actually two streams.